Hello everyone, welcome to the semicolon. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we analyze text data. So basically, we are going to learn machine learning with text. We are going to use NumPy, Pandas, count vectorizer function from the scikit-learn, test train split like we always do, and the naive base classifier, which we'll be seeing later on. So uh, here in this tutorial, we are going to classify spam versus non-spam. We are going to make our own spam detector basically. So let's get started. Uh, my data is available from this, is stored in uh, not CSV but TSV format. This is how we read it. We change the separator of read CSV to this to a tab and these are the column names I would like my data frame to have. And we are done with importing and let's look at our data. Okay, so as you can see there are some ham which is not spam and spam. So spam is something which you wouldn't like and you would like to classify it. Uh, before proceeding, let's get some more statistics about data. So we have 5,572 records and let's see how many of them are spam. And this is how we do it. Okay. I guess I've got the spelling the case wrong and we have 747 spams and the remaining are not spam. Then uh, what I would like to do is replace spam with zero and ham with one. So how do I do it? Like this. tf.lock for selecting all the spam, all the data frames, all the rows, sorry, where status is equal to ham and I would like to change the status of it to 1, I'm sorry, 1. And I'll copy it and I'll change the status of spam to 0. Now let's look how our database looks, data frame looks, and so we have ones and zeros. Uh, now, uh, what we have to do here is uh, again split the result and the data to analyze. So the messages are our data and status is the result which we have to predict looking at the message. And here we have successfully split it in df underscore x and df underscore y. Now the problem here is if you look at df underscore x, the messages are like this, go until joining point or whatever. There is text and as we've seen earlier, our algorithms are only good with numbers. So uh, we have to extract or convert this data, the messages or the text data into numbers without losing much of the information. And uh, one way to do it is bag of words, which gives a number to each word. But that is very inefficient. So here we have another method, which is called count vectorizer. Now let me show you what this does. So before that, I'm using our this command, which we always use to split the test and training data. And I have the data now split. Now, uh, before anything, let me show you how this is done. So how what this count vectorizer exactly does is 
it counts the number of words in the document now wait for it So say if I have some data, so this is one and uh, this is another one. This is the third one. So now we've transformed it and so this is how it looks. Uh, let me tell you meaning of it. If I write cv dot get feature names. So this is what it is, uh, R, this, the columns are R, cool, dying, and so on. So whatever the word is, these are our columns. And according to this, say R is repeated twice in our first statement. So our first statement has R twice. Cool is not present here, so it's zero. Doing is once, so one. So, and this is how we extract features out of our text data to this. So this is what count vectorizer is. It counts the number of words in this sentence and assigns it like this. So the number of features, the number of features would be the total number of words in your corpus, which sometimes spreads, uh, gets pretty huge, but let's not worry about that now. So uh, since we've used this, let's take another count vectorizer, CV1. And train with our original data. Our training data is CV1. Sorry, our training data is X train. And so if you look at A, we've got our training data like this. All our training data is now converted into numbers, which we can now feed to machine learning algorithm, which would be multinomial naive base to classify or do any any stuff which we want now. So if you look at A of zero, it is this. And uh, if I do inverse transform, so this is what we get from our this array. And uh, if you want to check the length of it, it would be huge because our corpus has a lot of words. So the length of our array is 7762. And very few of them is one. Now uh, the actual The actual text was this, which was now transformed to this in the array format. So this is our data. As you can see, the word ordering is not preserved. But uh, as for spam detection is concerned, we don't care much about it. So this is about count vectorizer. In the next tutorial, we'll be learning about TF-IDF vectorizer, which is a little advanced uh, version of count vectorizer. And uh, then we'll be applying the naive base to classify it into spam or not spam so see you then guys if you like this hit the like button and subscribe if you want to continue watching thank you